Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and this video is going to be a quick overview of the new free LC which Creative Assembly have recently released. It is Bactria. They are a successor kingdom as you can see here. We have a brief overview of, um, of the faction here. After Alexander's death, his mightiest generals tore apart his empire as they fought for it. Over the years, the claims and counterclaims of legitimacy deepened the rivalry between the successors. I won't read all of that, but you get what I mean with that. Um, they have the same uh, things here. Alexander's legacy, minus 20% resistance to foreign occupation and successor kingdoms, plus 10% morale for all units in battle against Hellenic factions. So they all, all of these, Egypt, Macedon and Seleucids, all have that. The differences with Bactria is they have nomadic enmity, so major diplomatic penalty with all nomadic tribes. They have uh, plus four to cultural conversion for Hellenization, Bactrian prosperity, they have plus 5% wealth from industrial and commerce buildings. So there we go. So I'm going to dive in on hard difficulty and here we go. If you guys enjoy this overview video, I may continue this campaign as a let's play. I may in fact even increase the difficulty depending on how it goes. But this will be probably 20-25 minute video just explaining briefly what what we can expect from Bactria in Rome 2 Total War or Total War Rome 2 and it is actually a faction I've been excited I found exciting to I can't get my words out probably <laughs> it's been a faction that I've been excited for and I've been waiting waiting for and yeah it should be good so wait and see what this campaign brings now Total War Rome 2 the third free LC behind Pontus and the Seleucid Empire. I do enjoy my freebies, I must say. <laughs> oh, I hate the loading times in these games, though. It's like watching paint dry. Come on. Woe to the vanquished. Although freed from the Seleucid oppression, your newfound independence risks their retribution from the West. The remaining eastern satrapies have little love for their overlord, however, and it may be prudent to wait until they declare their own sovereignties before moving to subjugate them yourself, as your illustrious forebear, Alexander, once did. However, it is important to maintain good relations with Aracosia to the south. Beware the rise of Parthia. Although they claim succession from the Persian Empire, they descend from the very barbarians who have terrorized the region for centuries. Gather your strength to push westward, and Bactria may yet reclaim the glory of Alexander's Empire. So there we are. So basically, what I got from that was beware of Parthia and make alliances with the south, and probably expand north is probably the uh, suggested way to go with Bactria. So, objective issued, control nine settlements either by direct ownership or through satrapies and military allies. So, straight away, we have that. And what else do we have? So we have four, it's quite a big number actually, four settlements, two provinces I imagine. We have Bactria as a full province and Transoxiana. So that's pretty good. So they got, straight away I can put my edicts on. So we'll go with... Uh, Food and public order, nice simple one. We can only put one edict on at the moment, by the looks of things. We have the brothers of Xenophon. We have my general, Bactrian Light Horse. They have 18 melee, melee attack, 32 weapon damage, charge bonus 25. What do we got? We got Levy Pikemen and Eastern Slingers. Uh, nothing too new at the moment. It looks like these are factions you could already. These are. Uh, not factions, this is a faction. Uh, units, so already in the game. Bactrian Hillmen, seen them before. Eastern Slingers. Uh, so nothing too exciting with the units, to be, to be honest. Uh, we can expand straight away. We can build. Probably best to build. Straight away, just looking around what we can have. Hellenistic, Hellenistic Village. I will go with Slave. Public order is always important. So is a garrison. We'll go with the Satraps residence. And what can we build here? We can go with... I'll go with the farm to begin with. We have a unit here, an army here. Stick that on by there, just to see how things go with them. 
check our diplomacy as well. So we see where we are with our alliances and the Seleucids hate us. Bastards. <laughs> Darhe hate us. Where are they? Are oh, they right above us, Darhe? So they can be our first kind of uh, enemy to try to conquer. Koras Korasmi, who are in the far north. They hate us, but they are trading, so thank you very much. I imagine if you can stay on decent terms with them, their hate will go down. The reason they hate you is the cultural side of things at the moment. So they're nomadic, I'm guessing, because nomads hate my guts. Parthia are okay with me, but we can't trade at the moment. Arya are the only ones who can trade in the south, so we will do that. And they don't want to trade with me. It's not very nice. Can we offer you something? I will offer you that much. Oh, they still didn't want it. Our merchants do not want trade with you. And there we go. So that's diplomacy with uh, Bactria straight away. And we are at the Far East, so the world ends over here, apparently. That's what it looks like. We can see a river over here with the cursor, but you can't actually get to it, which is kind of a shame. I suppose the good thing with Bactria is you know you can't get attacked from this side, so I can leave this province undefended, and it won't mean a difference to me at all. Same with... Marakanda as well. There's only these two you need to worry about. Bactria and Bukhara. Um, I should have checked to who I'm at war with. Oh, Dahai, of course. Uh, these, are, these are at war with us, so straight away we'll try and get a battle going on. Oh, Hillman and... Back, mercenary Bactria and Hillman and Mercenary... Why are they got the same unit twice? Oh, it's because they're only exclusive to Bactria, I see. We can only recruit Slingers and Spearmen. I hate the Eastern Spearmen. They're horrible, horrible units to have. So far, I haven't really seen... Oh, Marakan is down here, isn't it? Over there. I haven't seen an awful lot so far. This is my main army, which we need to bring to the north, I think. Bring them over here. I'm going to try to take out Dahai straight away. We'll, move. we'll have a two-pronged attack from either side. We'll end turn there. We'll see how things go in this uh, overview slash campaign if you guys want that of course let me know in the comments um it's probably a semi-regular campaign if it does become one probably once a week try and find a slot somewhere because at the moment i do have a couple of campaigns going on on my channel so it's about finding the time to actually record them but yeah you know i, w I will be willing to do that trespassing i know i'm trespassing it's because i don't like you amul Six uh, step archers and tribesmen. I reckon we can take them out. Can this army get there? They can, just about. Trespassing. I know I'm naughty. Deal with it. <laughs> right, so we'll have a battle. Declare war. Parthia are their allies. Um, Parthia are now at war with us. So that's something to be aware of if you're going to do what I just done there. And we will fight this battle. Assault. And we will see what happens now. Interesting stuff so far though. I, I gotta be honest, I don't know what other units they have um, later on in the game and with your upgrades from what you actually build in your provinces, but they don't seem that uh, appealing to me so far. They, their units, I don't like Eastern Spearmen. Slingers seems nearly every faction of Slingers in this game and um, you could probably i th i did read because they they are hellenistic in a sense factria so i i wonder if you can actually get um hoplites let's try and get this off fog we can't get off fog try one more there we go dry and it's quite an open settlement so we will we put our slingers order. in the front like so ready. i think we'll attack through here I can actually see properly. Put my hillmen together in a line. General behind in the rear. We shall begin. Uh, where's my. Over here, my allies are. That's good news. We begin the attack anyway. Bring my. Oh, there they are. They're over there. Tribesmen. Loads and loads of tribesmen. Just get these guys all forward. General. General can sit back for now while my reinforcements slowly emerge on the battlefield. 
there they are, so have a look at these. Zoom in. Young axes. I'm sure young axes are a swaby um unit. Maybe I got that wrong. Or was oh wait a minute, that's Germanic youths. See I'm getting confused with units already. Probably the wrong one to ask if you want some details on units. <laughs> um Let's bring these forward. I'm playing this on hard mode at the moment. Um, I have been trying out Legendary with my Sparta Let's Play if you're interested. Not something I usually play, but I am enjoying it so far. It has been very, very interesting experience. What's happening here? Why are they... The morale's gone down all of a sudden. Oh, they're attacking over here now. That's good. They're picking them off as well. I'm actually quite surprised. They're doing very well. <laughs> Didn't even ask them to attack and they've taken a lot of their archers out. I'm going to use precision shot, I think. There we go, use the old precision Fire shot. As a matter of fact, Away all of these can attack them. Where's my main army over here? Bring them all up to this little hill down below. They're actually covered by line of sight, these units are. I don't know why these two are in out line of sight. Maybe because of the houses and a little bit of a hill, but they are not quite sure. Doing a pretty good job on this unit though, taking them out. Getting absolutely butchered by my units at the moment. Down to 38. Zoom in, have a little look at this. And they are routed by the looks of things. Broken, there we go. Good job, men. What are your orders? Are your orders? Your Take out the young axes next. We're just going to keep doing this, keep peppering them with uh, volley after volley until my reinforcements actually arrive. And while this is happening, let's have a little look at these reinforcements. So we have Bactrian and Light Horse, there they are. Charging through my camera. We have Bactrian Royal Cavalry. I must say, I do like the colour variation. White, blue and red. It goes quite well. It looks a bit like France, actually. Don't know what it is, but blue and red seem to go quite well together. Same with the shields by here. Eastern Slingers. I like the shape on some of the shields as well. Kind of half moon kind of look. What else do we have? We have... Ah, Levy Pikemen, of course. We have Pikemen. Have a look at these levy pikemen charging forward. Anyway, back to the battle, and I think my men are doing a fairly decent job. If we can sling these pike uh, tribesmen, get a few volleys away, try to take them out. There we go, taking them out, taking about twenty of them out in one volley. Very good work. Good work, men. Good work. We're in good range. Gone down to 85. Go for the Lancers next. And while that's happening, I do actually have two units of cavalry. One of them's a general unit by the looks of things. Put them into diamond. I try not to take too long on this battle, but so we'll try to push up, I think. No point sitting back. Seek Domine. Push them all forward. And these two units as well. More slingers. They can get their asses up there and can help my other slingers. What are your orders? What are your orders? Kill, kill, kill. Why have they... Okay, that's odd. Why have they got like a Stonehenge type thing in the east? <laughs> Don't make sense. It's like a Celtic type of thing all the way over here on this side of the map. It doesn't make much sense to me. Maybe it maybe it should be there, I don't know. Let me know if uh if you've seen Stonehenge in the east. <laughs> there we go, we're taking them out slowly. I haven't really lost any men either, which is quite odd. Even though I'm getting attacked, I still have ninety out of ninety. Slingers! Slingers And they're doing a darn good job of weakening my foes. Aim for the step lancers over there. What have we got here now? The rest of my infantry are going to group up. And we can attack as well through here, I think. So we'll bring them up to where the rest of my men are. About there. My two cavalry units can meet up with the rest of my cavalry over here. The slingers can just concentrate their fire. Weaken the enemy as best as we can. There we go. Lancers again eating away now as well, down to 44. 
tribesmen again butchered as well. Look at this. 57. Completely butchered that unit of tribesmen. Get my slingers to concentrate their fire over there. Put precision shot on. Bring my tribesmen up as well. That's the ready. Ooh, we're getting caught out by here. Right, to tell you what. what are your orders? These three can actually charge into the young axes now, I think. Slingers. I would like my slingers to fire over the top. What are your to continue to pepper the enemy while these men go for a charge. Here they go. Bactrian hillmen onto their young axes. Three onto one. You would think that we would win this quite easily, this little skirmish. Down, here they go, they get butchered like I anticipated. We are at your command. We are at your command. We will get all my slingers to attack. I oh, do have horse archers I have to be wary of. Ready. Ready yes, Can we actually oh we can't put him in shield shield wall at the moment. And I bring my Royal Cavalry around to flank. Bring the light horse around as well. Probably attack through here and attack from behind. Take out the Step Noble Lancers. Here we go, Phalanx, that's what we want. So it's good that they got Phalanx, makes them quite deadly. Oop, frames dropping, FPS dropping slightly there. And we just routing all these now completely. They do have some uh, step archers over here, which are, which are shaken. Poor bastards. Oh, where are they going? No, I want you down here. Get over there. See, this is stupid. I, I want them to go attack there. Obviously, they'd go through the centre. For some reason, they want to go down there. There we go. Both of them get around. Flank around. Oh, we've won. There we go. So, end battle. A rather easy battle, I would say. Only lost 61. This is hard difficulty as well, so take from that what you want to but yeah pretty interesting i do like the fact they have got um phalanxes because uh I, i'd be very very cross if all they had for infantry was eastern spearmen they are one of the worst infantry units in the game in my opinion there we go decisive victory we shall Ooh, what can we do we can subjugate uh no we'll we'll occupy Increase in rank, faction destroyed straight away, and they don't like us here, which is to be expected. It will deteriorate, I think, after each turn. Conquest next turn only minus twenty-five. So we need to build a few things up here: eastern spearmen, food, public order, and Hellenic culture. So we'll need that mainly. Keep this army nearby as well, and we can replenish. But I think I will probably end the episode here. Afghan in there. So I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of Bactria, this new faction that CA have announced today and released today. I've been Dragonheart, and until next time, goodbye. <laughs>